You know, I've had the opportunity to work with some of the leading ceramists in the world, and when I ask them what's the most important aspect of communication between the clinician and the dentist, they, they never hesitate. The first thing they say is photographs, photography. You know, they want to be part of this process of being there with the patient. And, and a huge advantage we as clinicians have over the ceramist is, I have the patient in the chair. I know what they're wearing. I know how they fix their hair. And whether it's a woman, if it's a woman, how much time do they, they spend to put their makeup on? If it's a man, does he take care of himself? And so I have that huge advantage, and whether it's a large person or a masculine or feminine, I mean, whatever it is, I have that advantage over my ceramist. And I think that if we can get our ceramist closer to the chair, closer to where we are on a daily basis, we're going to have a better restoration and certainly a better relationship between the patient, the clinician, and the ceramist. So digital photography has made photography easier for us. It used to be when we took slides, I would have to take four or five shots of the same shot just to ensure that I actually got a great photograph and I wouldn't find out for three or four days later until I got them developed. And oftentimes I'd actually miss the shot that I needed most. And so digital photography has made that easier. It's also become much more affordable and simpler. I'm going to explore with you today a very simple camera that is easy to use. I think, you know, the concept of KISS, um, keep it simple, stupid. I think that that applies to digital photography, whether we enlist it to our, a team member, such as a hygienist or assistant, or we do it ourselves. We want it to be simple, so we'll use it on every single patient. So I'm actually going to go to the clinical environment. I'm going to show you how I take photos and show you a system that'll make it easy and not as complicated as I think some people make it in the dental industry. As I mentioned in the intro, I like to keep it simple. And there's a lot of different camera setups and there's a lot of alternatives you can use in your own office.